Yeah, you know how to fuck that shit up. I love shooting videos. This way, this is my favorite way to shoot videos. In case you're wondering. Fuck us. But then again. 
think so in the beginning, but you know, he stopped smoking weed and like, dude, his material's gotten so much better. I'm saying it really doesn't make people creative. Doesn't. I mean, you abuse it. You know, people that abuse it, they're definitely not gonna like make the most out of the experience, right? <laughs> like, I see people like making good music and shit, but I don't know. Maybe that was that was the '60s though. I haven't I haven't heard people make good music or like break good jokes off because of weed. I feel like I'm the only one that can do that. But anyway, anyway, back to Chris Reeves. What was I even talking about? Speaking of weed. <laughs> like you don't have sex um like you can channel that to, towards creativity i mean i think i've mentioned something like that before but he's he was talking about um jesus turning water into wine like <laughs> he said that's what that's really about like no just don't masturbate and you can create you can make all this brilliant stuff because you're not like taking all that sexual energy and directing it to your dick or to your vagina, okay? Or your butthole, which is gay gay, -ga -ga -ga, right? <laughs> restaurant. I, I realized that that's why I've worked in a restaurant. 
those songs I have. Because I'm like, no, this is life experience. You're like studying this country. You're studying all these these people and their stupid kids and like, and I I love kids by the way. I'm not I'm not knocking children. This is about their parents and the, the fact that like people aren't conscious of anything and they're just raising monsters and um because everybody's addicted to the internet. This is what happens, you know. It's like say you have junky parents. You know they're not gonna raise you the way that non-junky parents would raise you. Well, like, everyone's a fucking junkie now because they have the internet in their pocket all the time, so they're not paying anywhere near as much attention of, like, stuff that they should pay attention to, you know? And then people want to complain because their kids are gay, or their kids are, like... in this completely different headspace. It's like, yeah, dude. This is what's supposed to happen. Like, society is supposed to be ruined because of society. Because they did it to themselves. They all bought a fucking phone. And they, they're they all, like, doing stuff. And maybe not on purpose. Like, I don't think anyone's doing it maliciously. I mean, well, some, some of them are, but... It's like they don't want to accept a lot of these realities that we're living in right now. You know, like too daunting, you know, I'm pretty sure most people would kill themselves, that's why I, I say what I say about suicide, but I had a point, didn't I, I, I did have a point, and I stopped having the point, it's like, now we're going to talk about 25 more things that don't relate to what we were talking about earlier, um, sex, <laughs> sex, oh yeah, um, yeah, I would, I would rather make stuff. Like, and I have to be alone in order to do that. I can't be with somebody. It's, it's like, it's not a loss, though, because look at all this. Like, this, my life has so much meaning that because I found it myself. I'm not relying on somebody else to give it to me. And, I mean, I just don't, I don't think they could anyway, you know? And maybe I'm just smarter than most of society because I'm like, no, this, this, the smartest people want to be alone because they know that they'll never be satisfied with anything and they're not going to look to this world. Are you kidding me, dude? This world is like so fucking retarded. And I do feel guilty for feeling that way, but then I'm like, no, it's because you have so much empathy that you... Like, yeah, I mean, I guess it is kind of narcissistic, isn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah, how could it not be, though? Like, you know, you gotta have a healthy amount of narcissism in order to do anything that, you know, involves creating. I mean, look at people that have kids. I mean, they're literally creating, like, another version of themselves. Like, a smaller version of themselves that they have to raise and take care of. It's like, I can totally understand why people do that. But there has to be a narcissistic element to that. I mean, hello. <laughs> but people don't really think about that. I, I, I just think they're not conscious of anything. They're not... They're not conscious of sexual intercourse. They're not conscious of their, like, food intake. They're not conscious of, like, how what they're doing could negatively impact somebody else. That's why they feel the need to compete online where it doesn't fucking matter anyway. You know? But... Yeah, it's just, it's just so bad. Like, everything is so bad. And, like, people just make excuses for it so they can continue to just be complicit all the time. Complicit and complacent. Ooh, I like that one. 
tell the way I'm playing. It's like, it's, it's simple though. It's simple, but it's fun. And what I'm saying is worth saying. And then what I'm saying, you can guarantee it's legit, 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 it's legit. It's legit, it's legit, it's legit. suicide you know like man it's crazy that people do this and like it's just you know it's not maybe it's also what the sex reminds me we are deep diving right now uh it's what, what the sex reminds me of too so it's not just a separation from the world well why do i feel separated from the world you know because I obsess about things like I, I think about things I'm too in my head like I'm not gonna like not be in my head and it's like when people are are making it really obvious that they're thinking that way I feel like I'm being raped and I know that's fucked up I know it's fucked up I'm not saying that I'm being raped okay I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm not putting myself in the same category like so many women often do, okay? But I'm just saying like, it's it's that disgusting to me that I feel violated. How about that? I feel violated. Just, just knowing that somebody is thinking those thoughts about me. I'm like, I wish, I need like fake puke. <laughs> I need fake puke that I can just like hurl at somebody that I can tell is thinking about me sexually. Um, I wish I could. I wish I could fucking shoot that through the internet. I wish you would feel that through the through the camera lens because I know you get a smartphone. Unless you're unless you're Mr. Theron, you're fucking homosexual. Homosexuals. I don't care if gay gay men like me because it's like yeah, what what are we gonna do? Like, that's why I love gay men, because it's like, 
I don't have shit to worry about with them. Which is why a lot of dudes like pretend they're gay and then, you know, they think I'm not gonna know that they're lying. It's a vibe, you know? I can pick up that gay vibe really well because I have actual gaydar. Back in the day, there was something called gaydar because back in the day there was a closet and back in the day, people weren't just like fucking each other in the street. Okay, so there was like some segregation, all right? And all the gay men flocked to me because they knew who I was and I knew who they were, okay? But now, everybody's gay. So I know when you're not gay. So I have, <laughs> I have the non-gay dar. <laughs> so I, I can pick up on that too. That's funny, dude, that's really funny. And that's a way to talk about homosexuality too. Oh my goodness, I have to tell y'all. At the East Room tonight, there were so many dudes that did an entire set on gay stuff. And they weren't gay. I talked about this before but it's gotten so much worse. And nobody found it funny, nobody found it interesting. All the white dudes talked about race, aside from one guy, one guy. And he was so politically incorrect and that was the only thing that was actually funny. But everybody else, they were trying to be politically correct and did not work because everybody's fucking sick of that shit. Even the liberals, even the cultural Marxists are against it now. So that tells you, we can say retard again, y'all. We can say retard again. Um, Yeah, this is the state of comedy now. <laughs> but yeah, I did these posters tonight. Um, I just showed y'all. I'd rather jump in front of a train. Okay, I like this one a lot. Um, I really like this one too. I did two colors. I, th I think that that was kind of creative, more a little more creative. Um, stupid people always go public, okay? <laughs> so I I have all these posters I'm I'm gonna work on. So smartphones are actually crack pipes. Um, school rhymes with tool. Inanimate objects are more interesting. Let me tell you all about my ego. Hashtag, that's what that means. Every person that's ever sent a hashtag, that's what they're doing. Just go take a walk. That's life advice. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of porn. Watching people have sex is weird. Yeah, especially, especially if you're masturbating to sex traffickers um, and their victims. That's, that's, that's really, that's not just weird. That's like immoral and disgusting and, you know, it's so hedonistic. This culture is so hedonistic. Real men, I love this one. Real men smoke cigarettes. That's right. They don't fucking vape because that's fucking gay as shit, dude. It's gay as shit. You might as well just be gay. Um, okay. I'll show you. I'll pray for your ass. That's right. Okay, this is from the Bible. There, there, sorry, can't, I can't talk anymore. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts without fear. You like the way I'm saying fear? <laughs> but that is true. Like, if, if you really love God and you have God in your heart, like, you don't, you ain't gotta worry about shit. Okay? Um... And many shall fall. No, this this is one of my favorite um, quotes in the Bible. Um, I think this is in Peter. It's fine. I get all of these. Um, I get all these books in the Bible confused because they all kind of morph together after a while. Um, but it's uh, 
after um, Romans and Corinthians and Galatians and Philippians um, and Colossians. Might be in Hebrews. Um, it doesn't matter. Let's just let's just read it, okay? And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And this is talking about false prophets, okay? So the reason why so many people don't believe in God, and the reason why so many people think that it's all a bunch of bullshit, and you know, Christians are hypocrites, and um, the Jews. Well, yeah, I can understand, especially now, but, um, yeah, if you follow these false prophets, then you're going to be misled, and, and, and then there, there are going to be so many people that, they're misled by that, you know? So they think, oh, well, all these sacks of shit are, like, making money, and they're, like, raping kids, and they're doing all this shady stuff. And, yeah, then people are going to say, no, fuck Christianity, um, you know, fuck believing in God, fuck the church. And I, I, you don't have to tell me that the church is, like, responsible for so many bad things. But, I mean, it's part of their plan. Because if it actually helps people and it is the truth, then I feel like the easiest way for them to deny that would be to infiltrate it and... You know, do a bunch of really fucked up shit to kids. So, anyway. Pretty sure it's, uh, Peter. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I, I need to find out right now. Oh no, it's not. It's in, uh, oh, no, it isn't Peter. Never mind. It's in Peter. Okay. I was actually right. Holy shit. I saw John at the top and it confused me. That's the next page. Okay. So this is from the second book of Peter chapter two. It's like at the beginning. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So, yeah. People are always watching. No? God's definitely watching, but, you know, for a long time, I was completely disgusted by Christianity, and so I went the opposite direction. And I had a fuck ton of sex in church parking lots in the back of parked cars. And I did a lot of drugs and I ended up in rehab. And I was a raging alcoholic. I know, made a lot of mistakes. Never had an abortion though. So I guess that's one thing I can be proud of. But um, mainly because I know how to tell a dude how to pull out. A lot of women don't know how to do that. Or track their cycle. But whatever. Whatever man. Women are just amazing aren't they? Um, ugh. but, uh, I renamed him Phil after the bass player of the Grateful Dead. <laughs>